Can you believe this? Today, Mark is pushing Leland Jones again. <laughs> Leland Jones. So, he's always talking about not being on YouTube all the time. Uh, but it seems like that's all he does. Go ahead, Mark. What were you doing? Anyhow, I want to remind you guys again now, because mm -hmm. there's hardly anything to watch out No, might as well scrape you know, the bottom of the I bucket. I started going back over some of Leland Jones' videos. <laughs> he stopped doing them. He, he traveled, did a lot of studies, and gets into the scriptures. I mean, he believes Trump it might be. One time he said he did believe he was. What he's not telling you the rest of the sentence. He believed he was the Antichrist. In fact, Leland Jones... 100% thought he proved it. And there was supposed to be the tri giant tribulation in May 1st, 2020, 2021, which never happened. Leland Jones is a, a seven-year lead-up to the biggest false prophecy on YouTube. But Mark scraped in the bottom of the bucket. He has to watch something. Leland went back and forth like all the false prophets do. I mean, he believes Trump it might be. One Listen time to this. He did believe he was. Could. And he's like, well, I'm not sure, but Backpedaled. he's definitely a player. Yeah, whatever. Where I've been shown Obama many times, and mm -hmm. so has other people. But anyhow, we, we have a different understanding that the world doesn't. We know the world likes these people because they're of the world. I have a video in the description box. It's a, it's a pretty long, lengthy video. I'm only about three quarters of the way through it. Okay, so he, this is one thing Mark always does. Doesn't research anybody. Like how he pushed uh, John MacArthur for the last year without no research. Red flags everywhere, warnings everywhere. And he also puts videos, links for videos he hasn't even watched all the way. Go ahead, Mark. What were you saying? But what it does, they're looking at the different stones. In my video yesterday. He's pushing Leland Jones now. His video starts off about a key. <laughs> yeah, so I said, well, I said, I got to check this out. Yeah. And uh, push it on everybody there, else. He knows we're at the end now. Oh, wait, oh, what? Now, listen to what he says. He got off of YouTube because he knows it's the end. No, that's not why he got off. Go ahead, Mark. What? And uh, he got off of it because he knows we're at the end now. In other words, he's buckling down. And, you know, and I've been told, I've been told that. It's time to buckle down now. No, you got told to buckle up. So is it buckle up or buckle down? Doesn't matter because... We're going to check out, I'm going to show everybody in case somebody doesn't know. I, I thought everybody knew, but the reason Leland Jones got off of YouTube is because he's a false prophet, just like Mark Hardy. Now, if anybody doesn't know, Leland Jones came on YouTube. He was one of the earlier ones in 2014 with this giant prophecy and that's what his thumbnail is here his big graph that showed the tribulation was going to start in on may 1st 2021 as you can see he joined june 26 2014 and it's about when he started doing these videos about his special graph he had it all figured out so for seven years, he had these detailed graphs and charts, and look at this. All this paperwork and, and everything just figured out right to, I mean, look at this. This was every video. He had it all figured out, especially with his wheel thing. I'm again exactly every, when everything's going to start, uh, Obama, Little Horn, I mean, seven years he did this. All leading up according to this chart right here. And had he had everything figured out, it was going to start uh, the bowls, the everything, when everything's getting poured out. And starting May 1st, 2021, it was all going to go and it was just going to be full blown 
uh, locusts, I mean, whatever. Okay, well, May 1st, 2021 came and went. And this false prophet didn't know what to do. Yeah, he did. Because as you can see, he left and he went to another, he went to a website. Why did he leave? Because his seven-year prophecy failed in he, and what's he going to do? Well, it could be like Mark and just start a new one the next day for the next year. But um, as you can see, he knew it was going to fail because uh, he he already had this website planned out to make his escape, subscribe to blog, uh-huh, and school. Okay, school updates. Check out what's new on Leland. There's this, and then guess what? Goodbye, suckers. So on May 19th, 2021, after 100% Promising everybody he had everything right down to the T. What does he have to say for himself? Okay, this is it. That's I it. I can't believe we're here, <laughs> but it's yeah. been such a journey. Mm -hmm. Seven years, most of which traveling, 17 countries, walking by faith. Doesn't sound like such a bad gig, huh? Gets to travel all over while he's doing these prophecies to you. Leading you all like lambs over the cliff. And what do the what do the uh, followers say when the prophet's uh, prophecy fails? Well, do they, do they, you know, not to say he hasn't removed those comments, but most of the people, oh, um, it's okay. Hang in there. Don't be discouraged. I know you feel like a failure. Don't worry. We still love you. Again, don't be discouraged. Let your heart not be dismayed. It's okay. It's okay you led everybody astray for seven years. Told everybody they're going to die on May whatever. Everybody's life is going to be destroyed. I mean, look at every one of them. Oh, be encouraged. Don't worry. Don't be discouraged. Oh, don't be discouraged. Oh, you made me cry. Just like one after the next. Excuse, excuse, excuse. Never holding the false prophet accountable. I mean, look at this one. Brother, I left all other channels to listen to you. I love you so much. Yeah. As he's about to leave YouTube and say, see you, suckers. Okay, now Dot over here says he has videos on Vi Vimeo or something. Yeah, why isn't he on YouTube anymore? That's right, because he's disgraced himself as a false prophet. Yes, you know who I'm talking about, Dot. You're good. Yeah, good. Like I said, I don't watch and listen to a lot of people. You know, because there's a lot of people out there, man, I know. See, like Leland, you know, he doesn't, he does talk a little bit about the elect. I'm going to watch some of these videos. Okay, I haven't got into them yet. Well, I've got a video for you. Have you heard about the virgin's oil? Have you heard about the anointing oil video, Mark? I think you're about to mention some of those. He's just so um, impressed with Leland. But go I'm ahead, thinking, Mark. What? That's the foolish virgin. Oh, that's that okay. Missed the coming. Oh, okay. Of it. Oh, do you but got that video, video clip? That he did about that. It's not the one with the key. Oh, not that one. It's of it. But there's a video that he did about that. It's not the one with the key. No, not that one. It's another one. Uh, I'll put it in the description box here. Not the description box, but I'll pin it to a comment. Okay. Okay. Well, I think I have a clip of that. Hold on a second. Okay, Mark, is this the clip? I think I found it. Um, it's called, here it's from Leland Jones. It's called, In Parables of the Virgins, What is the Oil? Esther's preparation. Okay. Now, Mark says that um, 
Leland really deep dives into these subjects. So looks like, um, don't worry, Mark. I got the link for this one. Don't you don't have to look it up. But anyway, let's find out what deep diving into this um, oil, the anointing oil is. Because, you know, Leland is sure he's a false prophet. But maybe he knows about other stuff. Okay, so go ahead, Leland. What were you saying? Okay, I just want to give a heads up. If there's any kids in the room, you might want to um, get them out. Uh, if you're sensitive to any uh, creepy guys talking about creepy stuff, um, you might want to shut this off. So anyway, go ahead, Leland. Um, what about... Now, he is talking about um, parable of the virgins and the anointing oil. So go ahead, um, Leland. What were you saying? All right, the most common question people ask me about the parable of the virgins... Is what is the oil? What is the oil, Leland? Tell me what the oil is. Well, guys, the oil. This is very simple. The oil is intimacy with the Lord, guys. What? When a man and woman are intimate, mm -hmm. it's the female that produces the lubricant, guys. Uh -oh. It's the female, and that lubricant is the oil. And the virgins, there were five wives. Those are the ones that produced oil. The other ones trimmed their lamps, but they didn't have any oil. They didn't have intimacy. Now, the oil means a lot of other things, some of which we're going to get into in this piece, guys. But that's it. You know, the Lord told me this a while ago, and... Um, Listen to you know, this. Sometimes I kind of struggle to mention things like this. But I, whenever I'm at a campsite, guys, I'm always, I always clean it out. It's, you know, it's disgusting. And this is an... I worship God out here mm -hmm. with this tabernacle. Sounds like so it. I clean out the beer cans and all this stuff. One time I grabbed, I, I grabbed this thing in the woods. It was a per, it was a personal lubricant, and I was like, oh man, I, I threw that. You're taking notes on this, right? Uh, if you haven't, if you're not vomiting yourself, um, just pay attention, okay? Because it was a per, it was a personal lubricant. Good enough. Like, oh man. That in the fire. Yeah, and what did God say? Was like, well, mm -hmm. before I did, he was as soon as I saw it, the Lord was like, You gotta tell him. <laughs> as soon as he saw the person lubricant, the Lord told him, You gotta tell him. Leland, you gotta tell the world about the personal lubricant. But go ahead, Mark. <laughs> I mean and I was like, Yeah, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was a slip. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Leland. What? Like, you gotta tell him. You gotta tell him. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, man, all right, I gotta tell yeah, him. Yeah, man. He still burnt it. Disgusting, wicked people. Um, but yeah, guys, that's wicked. what the oil is. It's part, it's lubricant that the female produces in intimacy. But let's read the parable. And we're gonna go over a bunch of stuff here. We see we've got it all set up. <sighs> Leland did a lot of really really deep studies okay like i said you know so there you go deep studies now you know what the the anointing oil is and parable of the virgins okay this is it yep okay this is it mm -hmm. i can't believe we're here but can't believe bad. we're here there you go false prophet then he leaves youtube and I don't find it a coincidence at all that for seven years leading up to this false prophecy that failed, uh, he had everybody thinking it was the end of the world. And you know what? I bet that really came in handy for the uh, people controlling this world. You know what I mean? I bet it really came in handy during the you-know-what when the world was locked down. Well, if you have... Uh, I mean, he had more than 37,000 subscribers. Most of them have dropped off. But imagine that. Even if 50,000 people believed it and they all spread it. Well, he had people thinking it was the end 100%. I mean, and if you look at uh, Leland Jones' exposed videos, look at the first one that comes up is Blood Saves, who uh, we know from our channel. Uh, Blood Saves did this on his uh, false teaching here, Leland Jones. Look at how many people have exposed him. 
Leland Jones demonic mysticism and fake son of man. Just type in Leland Jones exposed and there's no shortage of people exposing this this fake phony. You know what I mean? So he'll creep his way back onto YouTube sooner or later. But Right now he's hiding out and he's got people like Mark uh, sending people over to where he is now so they can be deceived too. So just because there's nothing to watch on YouTube doesn't mean you have to settle for old washed up uh, YouTube prophets, false prophets, prophecies that failed years ago. What are you going to drag those up and That's start true. watching and those? There's hardly anything to watch No, might as well just watch... Yeah. Uh, I started going back over some of Leland Jones oh yeah. videos. Wait till you get to the anointing it. oil video. He traveled, did a lot of studies. Yeah, and he suckered everybody too. Lots of studies that went nowhere. Anyway, watch out for Mark Hardy. Watch out for Leland Jones and all the other deceivers out there. And you know what? Some something kind of interesting. Most of them seem to be full-blown perverts. You saw Leland Jones. Oh, by the way, that's who he's recommending so yep you know what i mean perverts of a feather flock together and false prophets of a feather flock together and so on and so forth anyway thanks for listening beware for leland jones and mark hardy very uh similar shalom